Let's jump right into our judging, starting with team 390, who came in 47th place. Nick, could you kick us off? Oh, of course. Um, so 390 submitted their robot Quantum Candy, which uh, is very, very colorful. Um, I will say their feeder's pretty nice, um, but there were a couple spots where they had interference on like their drive gear boxes, um, chain running through things, etc. Um, and those pneumatics all the way out at the end of their intake are slightly concerning to me. It seems like a spot where uh, they could break down if this were a real game. But overall, pretty good job from Team 390. Awesome. All right, I think that's going to move us over to Team 339, who came in 38th place. Nate, how, how do you like that? Um, so 3339, they could do both Rock or Or in the logo. Um, their intake was inspired by 195's intake this year, the way it folds down onto the ground. They had an eight-wheel West Coast drivetrain that they have optimized for defense. And they had a dual-channel belt uh, conveyor system so they can shoot balls at the back. Uh, the robot was black and pink. It looks pretty nice. And then their intake was auto-centering as well. Um, they did have a few issues in the um, CAD with a few interferences, like they had a belt running through one of their drivetrain gearboxes. Just small stuff like that. Yeah, but I mean, come on, with a color scheme like that. That's a pretty awesome looking robot. Yep. All right, that's going to move us to team 387, who came in 27th place. So team 387 built a robot that actually really reminds me of the 2019 EveryBot. Um, they have a set of sprockets that intakes um, game pieces in the front of the robot and a conveyor to score them. and Deep down in that robot, there's actually a pretty cool um, shifting gearbox on the drivetrain. Oh, nice. Is it is it a custom design gearbox? Yes. Nice. All right. So that moves us to team 345, who came in 51st place. So team 345, I'm pretty sure they're from uh, 1902 Exploding Bacon because I've never seen any other team with that green and orange uh, color scheme. But overall, uh, their intake looked is pretty wide, so it should make it pretty easy for them to pick up the game pieces. And their kind of feeder out reminds me a lot of the 2019 EveryBot style. Um, However, they were missing a couple of features on the robot. Uh, on the robot, so if those were there, then it would probably help out a lot. All right, so that's going to move us to Team Three Five Nine, which unfortunately is not the Hawaiian Kids, who came in forty second place. So Three Three Five Nine, they were a mainly defense bot. They designed an intake, but they didn't really make enough progress on it or on other mechanisms on their robot. Uh, they have shifting gearboxes, so they have them optimized to play defense. Nice. And you can see so, they have some cool part layouts there. So is it basically... So you can see they have the different like hexes and stuff cut in there, and then on their intake, they have a really wide uh, full-length intake, and then they have polycord runs on those. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if you taking a look at this, it just looks like a case of you know them not totally finishing... Um, but I really would have liked to see this robot completely finished because it looks pretty cool to start. All right, the next robot we're going to look at is Team 365, who came in 49th place. So Team 365's robot has an intake on the front with um, some rotating sticks that can sweep the game pieces into their centrally located hopper. And then their hopper and shooter is uh, can rotate, and so they they say that they're primarily designed to score in the high goal, and they also note that their um, hopper can have game pieces dropped into it from the human loading station. Nice, yeah, that, that looks like a pretty cool robot right there. All right, the next robot we have coming up is Team Three Eighty One, who came in fifty third place. That's Nick. I'll stop muting myself now. Um, 381's <laughs> design looks, uh, you know, really basic. It seems like it's missing some key parts, at least from what I can see. However, the parts they do have do look pretty good. Their drivetrain's really nice, and it seems like it's really compact. Um, 
They have a 2neo custom gearbox, which looks pretty sweet. Um, I really like the pocketing on it. And uh, their intake looks like it'll be pretty effective. Uh, nice over the bumper style intake. Um, so if they, you know, it's another case of they just needed more time, it looks like. Yeah, it's like every single FRC team's build season. So makes makes a lot of sense. All right, our next team is team 354, who came in 50th place. Okay, so team 354, they had a pretty unique um, pull mechanism, or going down the pull mechanism. So as you can see, it looks like it's on a one-stage elevator. That's on the back half of it. And then you can see they have the intake set up. looks like they're set up to maybe intake or through there. I'm not too sure. Uh, I think something like this designed with an intake that goes over the bumpers would end up being pretty effective. I'm um, just not quite too sure how they're playing on scoring with it yet. And then their drivetrain is just a simple setup, uh, well set up to play defense. Nice. All right, that's going to bring us to Team 346, who came in 56th place. Team 346 has a simple robot. They are designed to um, collect game pieces from the human player station and deliver them only to the low goal. And they have a um, simple wheeled roller mechanism, and but they also have a very triple strange looking swerve drive. Interesting, because there are a couple members of Triple Strange that do compete in this catathon every time around, so we might get to one of their robots later. That's going to move us to Team 373, who came in 46th place. Uh, this was one of my uh, favorite robots to judge, because the chassis is 148's X19, um, and there were files that said X19 on it, so that hurt them a little bit in uh, the creativity section. However, the robot's nice and compact. Um, I mean, that the 148 engineering on the drive base looks good as it would if it was just from them. Um, but they also did a really good job on the renders. Uh, if anyone needs to learn rendering, you should take wow. uh, lessons from them. Yeah, those are some impressive renders. And let me just ask something. Nick, was it you who wanted to drop in a 971 intake into one of your uh, Catathon robots? Uh, it was 973, which would have been interesting ah. given Adam Hurd was a judge. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So uh, no wonder you like this one. <laughs> All right. So that's going to bring us to team 246, who came in 24th place. Okay. So team 246, they had a swerve drive set up, and then their robot has an arm on the front. The arm pivots down to the ground, so they have a wide intake roller, and then they pivot the arm up so that way they can score. And then their pull mechanism is off to the side. Uh, the swerve module I actually haven't seen before, so it looks like that might be something they're working on. And then just all around the layout of this robot was pretty unique and pretty good. Yeah, and again, those renders look pretty nice. I'm just going to say it the way I feel it. This is and then, um, so one thing that they could definitely improve on is their controls uh, as far as working on them and servicing them. They are pretty buried under the robot. Um, so that's one thing that would be a little bit difficult. Yeah, you, you know, you always want to make sure that your uh, control system is well accessed because when you're in heated competition trying to get to your control system and it's under five things in your robot, it, it doesn't go well. So that's going to bring us to our 24th ranked team, Team 246. Oh, sorry. That's going to bring us to our 58th ranked Team 335. 335 has a nice West Coast drive um, with Neo gearboxes. They're basically just a drive base with a couple arms hanging off the back, but I think they could actually be a pretty great defense box. Yep, another case. It just looks like a, it didn't finish yet, but you know what? There's a place for you in the competition. That's going to bring us to our 54th ranked team, which is team 407. Yeah, so 407 went with a really uh, basic design. Um, they were sadly missing a lot of detail, another case of it seemingly not having enough time. However, their drive gearboxes do look really, really nice. Um, but one of the biggest things that I noticed is their intake arms. Uh, they looked pretty fragile, so I'd be worried about those breaking in the competition. All right. So that's going to bring us to team uh, 407, who came in 54th place. 
just did them. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to bring us to the 57th ranked team, Team 404. Okay, so Team 404, they had a Rocker H drive set up for their drivetrain. And then you can see on their robot, they have like a built channel with an intake roller on it. So they have polycord going in between the two rollers, and they're planning to do that up to their flywheel. Uh, they're planning to score in the high goal. Uh, this one was another example of they just didn't have enough time. Um, the robot doesn't really have any controls on it at all. No layout of anything like that or the battery. So, and then you yeah. can see their flywheel there. It's geared pretty well and laid out nice. So, yeah, nice looking robot. All right, that's going to bring us to our 35th ranked team, which is team 394. 394 has a flip down intake, which can collect cargo off of the ground and up over their bumpers into their hopper. Then they have a simple wheeled roller system to deliver it to their shooter. And around the back, they also have a clamping mechanism for descending into the mine shaft. Nice. They, yeah, some of these uh, mine shaft robots are pretty cool. Uh, they have a, you know, created mechanisms for that. All right, so our next team is team 338, who came in 55th place. Yeah, so team uh, 338 looked like uh, the robot was pretty unfinished, missing some key details like their roller system, how they're powering their intake and re intake rotation. Um, one of the saving graces for this robot is the swerve drive, uh, which looked custom to me. It looked pretty good, um, so props there. Um, but you know, on the intake, I'd recommend making it a little more wide, um, just kind of help out with picking up those game pieces, because even though you have Swerve, just give your driver every little bit of help that you can. All right, but before we get to the next team, Tyler, is it time for a giveaway? Yep, we will be uh, giving away our first set here, and that's going to be, let me bring it up here, uh, a pair of the uh, four millimeter single flute end mills from our friends at Aussie Boards. So, of course, you know, it's Ozzy and it's Australia, right? So here's the keyword you have to type in. And it's going to be Ozzy, 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 just like that that we put in the chat. Oi, so, oi, oi. There we go. Thank you. Uh, so Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy is what you need to type in uh, to win this. Now, very important. Don't forget, you do need to make sure you are following the channel. If you're not following the channel, guess what? If we pick your name, we're going to redraw. Sucks to be you. Uh, so that is your ticket in. If you do choose to be a subscriber, help support fun, be loud, live, and independent for just a few bucks a month or for free with Twitch Prime, you'll get five times chance to win. So we're going to do the drawing for that uh, when we hit our 15th team. But Ozzy, 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 uh, you can type oi, oi, oi for bonus points if you want to. Uh, but Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy is your entry in. So good luck, everybody. And thanks again to Ozzy Boards for the awesome uh, giveaway. So we'll draw for that once we uh, get done with team number, with our 16th rank, I should say. All right. So uh, kicking off the rest, we have team 391, who came in 28th place. So team 391. They're probably one of my favorite robots I got to judge. So you can see they have a nice purple and white color scheme. Uh, they have an over-the-bumper auto-centering intake that does both sides of the balls. And they have just this really massive wide uh, flywheel. Sorry, they can help index as many balls into their system as possible. The controls layout is very accessible. The only thing I would worry about it is not being covered. Uh, teams playing defense, if they have anything sticking out of their robot, could hit into that which could be a little bit worrisome. Um, other than that, I think this was a really good robot. Yeah, and again, these renders, I feel like they're getting better. This Catathon, in the past, we've had some pretty rough looking renders. We've had a lot of good ones already, and we're not even at the top 15. All right, that's going to bring us into our 40th ranked team, which is team 392. Um, 392 has a nice extension out the front intake. And that feeds balls through the bumper cutout into their um, into their mechanism, and they have a clever system for dropping the smaller ore into the, a lower hopper, and the rocks go over the top. Um, they say they're a robust design to score in both the high and the low goal, but it doesn't have a climbing mechanism. Um, yeah, they've got a solid West Coast drive. Um, Coulson's in the center, Omni's in the corners. So it should be quite maneuverable. 
I just want to apologize. There are a couple of teams that, for some reason, we don't have the renders in the folder, so we are apologize to those teams uh, that their robots are not being shown. We will try to make sure we can show those later. Uh, so if somebody's listening that could be in charge of that and pop those in, it would be great so we can show those a little bit later as well. All right. Yep, that's, that's unfortunate. Hopefully we can get that sorted out quickly. All right, that's going to bring us into our 32nd ranked team, which is Team 400. <laughs> this robot um they have a set of round bumpers which is really cool on top of a uh super six ball ball drive never thought i'd say that um yeah it's a neat design uh their mechanism is really interesting their cad layout looks pretty good um but they they definitely uh took the cake in the creativity section yeah, uh, I'm looking at this robot, and wow, honestly, I think we have to redo the creativity scale with this robot at the top, because that is round bump, wow, that is something. Yeah. That is a... I've only heard of one other team that had round bumpers, and it was Team 585 Cyber Penguins in 2009. I was getting told about them, so uh, right. interesting well, choice. Yeah, nice cheat metal work, too. They really, they went all out. Yeah. All right, so in 40, 41st place, we're going to bring it over to Team 88. So 88, they had a H-Drive system. Uh, when they were designing their robot, they opted for it to be really small so they can get around defenders easier. As you can see, looking at this robot all around gives me like a general feel of 2910 from this year. They have an over-the-bumper intake, as you can see in the back, and that goes up and goes through their flywheel. Um, they can do rock or or in the logo, and then they have a really nice hook mechanism. Um, their belly pan and all of that is all laid out nice. Uh, they were just missing a few details and had a few interferences in their CAD. Nice. All right, that's going to bring us to our 43rd ranked team, which is team 369. 369 has a nice West Coast drive a flip down roller intake and that feeds balls into their vertical compliant wheels and they incorporated different mechanisms for the different size game pieces um, they have a nice looking robot uh, and they did good work on their belly pan design nice yeah i mean good belly pan always something you want to see in a, a nicely catted robot all right, that's going to bring us to our 37th ranked team, which is Team 374. Yeah, so uh, teams three, Team 374, uh, to me, they're, my favorite thing is their intake. It looks It's super wide. It looks like it'll be super effective for picking up both game pieces. Um, so props to them. They went with a split shooter design, one for the smaller and bigger game pieces. Um, and that was pretty nice. It seemed like they were missing a couple of pieces in their CAD, however. Um, but what they do have is really good. I really like the, how they uh, kind of channeled their 20, inner 2451 from 2017 um, for their uh, internal feeder. So, and props Nick, to them. I, you know, just to all those people watching the show, I'm not a judge, so I don't check out all the CAD uh, individually, but... Just looking at this row, I'm curious. Do they have a mechanism that's designed to index them between the two different shooters? Uh, you know, that seemed like it was one of the things that was missing. Um, I'd seen a couple other teams where it was very apparent. Uh, this one seems like it would just kind of launch the large and the small one around and without any direction. Um, but I could be wrong there. I mean, it works in both. CAD, so yeah. it doesn't matter. All right, that's going to bring us to our 31st ranked team, which is team 399. So 399, they're another team that did a custom swerve. Um, they have, they said they were inspired by 1717 from 2012. As you can see, they intake the balls from the side of the robot, and then they have the swerve set up like they did. Um, so once the ball goes through, it goes through a mechanum indexer, which then puts it up to their flywheel. And then their pull mechanism is one of the most unique I've seen. It has a disc brake on it, so that way they can slow themselves when going down. Uh, their controls are laid out pretty nice. Everything seems pretty easy accessible. 
Um, the only thing I see is the spark maxes for the swerve are pretty far away. So that seems like that could be a bit of an issue. Um, other than that, they did pretty good. Yeah, no, that's a nice looking module. All right, so you hate to see this. Someone has to be it. Our 16th ranked team is Team 80. Um, team 80 has a large fold, fold down intake, which can bring balls up over their front bumper. And they, they have a simple like column style um, that brings the balls up to their shooter. Their shooter has some real nice detail on it. And they've got a six wheel drive pneumatic setup. And out the back, they have a thing that flips down to grab the pole to descend the mine shaft. Yeah, I mean, that's really nice looking robot. One of our older teams, Team 80. Hate to see them outside of the top 15, right outside at 16, but overall a good showing. And there's 16 is nothing to sneeze at with over 250 people competing. That's going to bring us to our 36th ranked team, which is team 405. Yeah, so uh, 405, I'm pretty sure they were from team 2630 based upon that um, color scheme. Um, their robot looks pretty slick. Uh, their pocketing looks really good. Um, the renders also look pretty good. Um, I really like their external intake. It's pretty wide and seems like it'll be very effective for both game pieces. Um, and they also went with the split shooter, one for the smaller and one for the larger game piece. Um, so, I mean, everything looks pretty good. Their drive gear boxes look pretty good, but it, they were missing just a little bit of detail on the hardware side of things and as well as some like potential wires. Um, so that's really what hurt them there. Uh, I mean, I really like that intake. It's really slick looking. All right, that's going to move to our 44th ranked team, which is team 418. So 418, they had a drivetrain that was similar to Robo Wrangler's 2016, actually very similar. Um, they had that, so they could deal with and converse with the field a little bit easier. Um, they can do either rock or or in the high goal. So as you can see, they have the intake on the front there that cuts into their bumper, and they have an indexer that sorts them based on size. Um, I could see a lot of issues with that jamming. I think there's a lot of work to do there. And then um, their intake is spring-loaded, so that should help them out a little bit. And then one thing that hurt them is there's not a lot of details. So like, a lot of their controls aren't there. The only one that was there was the PDP, actually. So like just more stuff like that. All right. That's going to bring us to our 39th-ranked team, which is Team 355. 355 has a flip down intake and then they have two separate shooters with rollers that deliver the balls up to them. Um, one detail about this robot, the um, actual whole set of rollers can move, can sort of move in and out to accept the different size game pieces. They're using the um, Andy Marks bird modules and yeah, I like their green bumpers. Yeah, I mean, I'm not an inspector, so I say they pass. Uh, sounds good? All right, cool. All right, so that's going to move us to our 23rd ranked team, which is team 396. Yeah, so uh, 396 came in with the 2767 Third Coast Swerve Drive, um, which looked pretty good. Um, their intake was a 33 from 2016 slash uh, 2767 from 2019 style. Um, so that looks like it would be pretty effective as it was there. Um, they have uh, climbing forks, which is a really interesting setup. And But the biggest thing is they were missing a couple of pieces on their feeder and they were missing um, some hardware as well. Um, so they kind of hurt on the detail side of things. Nick, could you explain exactly how the that you know drop down system works uh, for the end game um as far as i can tell um they would use a separate mechanism for climbing themselves down and then it could be used to take other partners down with them at least that's that was my initial thoughts on it gotcha yeah all right it looks pretty cool all right that's gonna bring us to our 52nd ranked team which is team 358 all right, so Team 358, they had a tank uh, tread-style drivetrain, um, and then their intake was polycard, which also goes in. 
to their conveyor, which is also polycord. Um, they could do rock or or into the logo. Um, they were missing some details in their CAD. Um, I'm not quite too sure how it accepts both balls, but they claim it does. Um, then you can see their controls are on the back there. They're rather accessible. So this is all around a pretty good design. So, uh, so are those tank traps we got going on there? Yeah, it is. Nice. I like it. All right. That's going to move us to our 45th ranked team, which is team 333. Three, three. Team 333 three, three has a simple um, single game piece mechanism. Um, it's out the front of the robot. It collects in a game piece, and it's on an elevator. Um, this team, I've got a shout out. They're using the Mark II modules, but they've chosen, they, they're using um, a Neo for steering, but they're using the Andy Mark Decimate box for a, for a drive with two red lines. So a total of 12 motors for their drivetrain, um, which is pretty bold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bold. That is, that is one word for that. All right, that's going to move us to our 33rd ranked team, which is team 413. So 413, um, another team that looks like they had the climbing forks um, for bringing down partners. Um, they look pretty interesting. Their climbing mechanism also looks pretty interesting. Um, and their ball intake slash feeder looks like it would work pretty well. Um, I guess I'm missing how the ball actually feeds after it gets inside the robot. Um, it seem, it just seems like they're missing a decent amount of detail, uh, missing chain, hardware, et cetera. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice looking robot from the bones, but the detail does matter, guys. It is a CAD competition, so we, you know, that's, that's a big part of how our judging works. All right, the next team we're going to look at is the 30th ranked team, which is team 180. So Team 80, they had a West Coast style drive system. Uh, they had a black and red color scheme, and they're one of the only teams that I've seen so far that's opted for an elevator. So it looks like on their elevator, they have a wrist that sticks out, and then from there, they can intake the different uh, objects and score them in the low and high area. Uh, they have some really nice looking renders. Their drivetrain gearbox, it's uh, 775 gearbox, which is pretty unique nowadays. Um, all around looks really small, really compact. Um, well, their cab is really detailed, and their controls are laid out pretty nicely. Um, definitely right. one of the more unique robots. Yeah, no, definitely. All right, Tyler, is it time? Yeah, we're going to be doing the uh, Aussie boards. Uh, by the way, just a couple questions in chat to ask. Uh, will all renders cab models be publicly available uh, so they can look on the stream? Uh, I'm guessing that's a yes, right, Sam? Uh, it is a no. No? Okay. And then uh, our team's getting feedback sheets. Teams will be getting feedback sheets. Okay. So just a couple of questions from their chat. Um, yeah, if you, the best place to ask these, by the way, is if, you're, if you are a team, I would ask them in Slack as fun. We're just producing the show, and so I don't really know the answer to these questions too much. But uh, with that said, we are giving away the uh, single flute end mill from our friends at Ozzy Boards. You need to type in Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, 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 okay. Uh, as I thought you had me there, man. You had me last time. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Sorry. Um, our winner uh, for this is going to be uh, G-D-O-G-D-E-T-T. -T. I'm not going to pronounce that. But congratulations and a subscriber. So you know what that means. Lots of rigged emotes in chat because we had clearly rigged this for a subscriber to win. Uh, so congratulations. Thanks again uh, to our friends at Aussie Boards for an awesome giveaway and you're getting a pair of those it's a sample pack as they call it uh so really cool stuff thank you so much to ozzy boards uh by the way if you do win please make sure you shoot first updates now a uh, message either on twitch or on our discord uh and i every single time we got to say this guys we're shipping you something you know what that means first name last name mailing address believe it or not city and state which people <laughs> apparently don't give to me they just think we magically know where that is so but please make sure you do that for any of our giveaways thanks again to uh, aussie boards and we'll start another giveaway uh right before we hit our uh 16th team We're right right after we hit our 16th team we'll start our second giveaway uh so good luck to rest of the teams here on the catathon all right and before we get into our next team uh, just a quick explanation for why we don't uh release all the cad we would love to release all the cad but unfortunately this is not the property of us. It's the property of the people who've catted the robots. 
Um, and a lot of teams in the Catathon are from teams who don't publicly share their CAD um, and they have stuff that they've CADed um, and they don't want out there for everyone else. So uh, we don't release the CAD for that reason. Um, but if you want individual CADs, a lot of people post their stuff on Chief Delphi. So go on there, PM them. Most of them will be happy to send it over. All right, that's going to bring us to our 20th ranked team, which is team 417. Uh, team 417, they have a very green robot. Um, in like it's the color green and a sweet uh, <laughs> bolt down belted front intake. And their inner mechanism um, has mechanism wheels, which sorts out the cargo from, or not the cargo, the rocks from the ore and feeds it up to their top mounted shooter. Um, yep. West Coast Drive, a uh, nice belly pan electronics laid out. Oh, good looking robot. And uh, so our next team, uh, they came in 21st place. However, they will be making the world championships as they are an original sustaining team. That is Team 8. Yeah, so uh, Team 8, I think my favorite part of their robot is the denim bumpers. Um, so props to them for making that very bold move. Um, the rest of the robot looks pretty good. Um, I really like how wide their external intake is. Their feeder also makes a lot of sense. Um, they played off of the relic recovery style um, feeders, so a couple years back FTC game. Um, so it looks like it'll be really effective at feeding into those dual turrets. Yeah, almost. And also, uh, looks like they pulled a little bit from 254. Might be uh, foreshadowing something later in the show. <laughs> That's going to bring us to our 19th ranked team, which is team 364. So team 364, they had a blue and orange powder coated robot. They had two separate channels. So they had an intake and then from there it went either into a bigger shooter, which could do the rock or a smaller one, which could do the ore. Uh, this is all around a pretty unique design. Uh, they had a swerve drive train, auto centering intake, um, they had a few small minor issues in their CAD, but all around it was a pretty good design. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to bring us to our team who came in 21st place, and that is team 200. 200 has a nice um, over the top uh, mechanism. It, it can collect the balls as well as score them. Uh, nice West Coast drive and very well laid out electronics. Um, yeah, overall, a pretty solid robot. Their colors, their black red color scheme, is very reminiscent of um, like Apex or 4911 Cyber Knights. Who? <laughs> and this is a robot that can utilize pretty much every part of the game, right? Yeah, it also has this hook that can lower itself into the mine shaft. Nice. All right, that's going to bring us to our 17th ranked team, Team 257. So 257 was one of the most unique robots. Um, everything on their robot was pneumatic. They didn't have any motors besides the motor that's in the compressor because you can't get rid of that. Um, so they had a full uh, pneumatic locomotive-style drivetrain. Uh, their flywheel was also powered by, I believe it was five pistons working <laughs> in sync. Um, you know, whether or not it would work, uh, <laughs> it's not positive, or not positive, but all around is a really unique design. Definitely I mean, the most creative. And the renders it, look really good. Most creative. That, that round bumper team is going to come for you on that one. But <laughs> this is... This is pretty crazy. Uh, I really like how they did these renders. It's almost like they had a little like technical documentation for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, this is this is super cool. Just hopefully they don't get a leak because uh, that's it. That's it for their robot. <laughs> All right, that's gonna bring us to our 48th ranked team, which is team 397. Yeah, so uh, 397 has a pretty basic design from the looks of it. Um, they have an all omni wheel intake, which I've never seen before. Um, generally, it's mechanisms with Omnis there. Um, so I don't know how well that'll work. Um, their drive gearboxes also scare me a lot. 
Um, so those definitely need some work there. It seems like the cluster gears are going to get worn down really fast. Um, and the electrical also looks... Uh, it doesn't look great. Um, it, it, it needs a little bit of work there. All right. So that's going to bring us to our 26th ranked team, which is team 386. 386. Um, okay, so sorry about that. Um, 386, they had a West Coast Drive uh, style setup, and they had two arms that pivoted down that acted as their intakes. From there, it kicked it into two separate shooters, one for the rock and one for the ore. They were missing some details in their CAD. Um, one issue I could potentially see is the intakes are very narrow, so there'd be a lot of driver line up there. But it was a pretty unique design. Yeah, no, the very unique design. Again, creativity. You know, in the past, we've had a lot of similar-looking robots, but today, the creativity is really showing. I really like that. It's a CAD pro, you know, challenge. You're not going to have anything go wrong in your bill season. You're not spending any money. So you might as well, you know, go for broke. Try something cool out. I really like these designs. All right, that's going to bring us to our 29th-ranked team, which is Team 361. 361 has a really nice belted intake through their bumper cutout, and that delivers balls to their manipulator, which um, holds a single ball and is really reminiscent of 971's Stronghold robot, where it's uh, double-jointed and flips around and can score. Um, they've got a nice-looking West Coast drive. Yeah, a pretty solid robot. Um, good pocketing on all their Versa chassis or 2 by one yeah, that's a very nice to go robot. I really like that color scheme. It's slick. All right, that's going to move us to our 18th ranked team, which is team 350. Yeah, so uh, 350 brought the robot that they called Andromeda. Um, the One of the biggest things for me is their drive gearboxes looked really, really good. I'm a fan of a nice drive gearbox. Um, their pocketing also looks pretty good. There are a couple spots where it's a little too aggressive for my taste, but whatever floats your boat. Um, biggest thing for me is that intake looks like it'll be pretty hard to get lined up with, uh, given it's all inside the frame. Um, so, I mean, that's the biggest thing that could use work for me. Um, they're also missing a couple of electronics and other seemingly key pieces of the robot. Um, so they get those in there, and this would be a contender. All right, but 18? Nothing to sneeze at once again. That's a pretty good ranking. All right, so that's going to bring us to our 34th ranked team, which is Team 334. So 334, they were inspired by 971 in 2019. So their intake is, I believe, six. Yeah, it's, so it's six suction cups that they have an arm that pivots down. They put it onto the ball, and then they pick it up with suction, and then they go up to the little goal, and then they let go. Um, they have a pretty standard drive setup. Everything in general is laid out pretty well, and they'd probably be really good at defense if they played it. You know, it's it's funny. We've pretty much had a suction robot every single catathon, um, all seven. And before this one, it was a joke. Uh, but now we have to take suction seriously. So nice looking robot, Team 334. All right, that's going to bring us to our 22nd ranked team, which is Team 411. Team 411 has a nice um, fold down mechanism intake, which intakes into their shooter, which are their, their like magazine style hopper, which loops down from the front up and around the back of the robot. And then on top of that, all the way back to the front where their shooter is. Um, this is really reminiscent of 2910's uh, Steamworks shooter, actually. Uh, They've got a pretty nice extension out the back um, pole mechanism. It actually can intake the pole and then rotate the whole robot around to lower into the mine shaft. So it's, so it's basically a fireman. Yeah. It spins around the pole. I like it. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.